Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, they dropped some changes to Mistweaver, so I thought I would go over it. I was going to ask questions about what my thoughts on it were, so here we are. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. So, they, these are for all changes to Mistweaver, not just PvP changes. So, all healing was increased by 3%. I'll take it. I'm not going to lie. Any healing is good healing. This affects fist weaving, cast healing, anything, so this is pretty good. Uh, Vivify healing increased by 5%. Uh, I mean, it's better than what we have now. Again, they nerfed Vivify on beta like four times, and this is probably one of those nerfs, but still really good. Uh, Clouded Focus now increases healing and decreases mana cost by 20%, was 15% from Velvet and Vivify. This was, it's funny, the Clouded Focus has, it's so funny. The version of Clouded Focus we have now is the version that Clouded Focus was started with in Shadowlands, and then they, they made this exact buff in Shadowlands, and then they reverted it on beta. So the version we have Clouded Focus of 15% now was a nerf to something they buffed, and now they're rebuffing it. So this is this is the second time they've done the same exact buff. Um, I'm not gonna complain about this though, because I, you know, uh, this change alone makes this be really good. It increases the healing of because it stacks, right? It's 20% per stack, and it stacks three times. So if you think about it, if you get to three stacks, it's a 15% healing increase in Velvet Mist and Vivify. Uh, this is a huge change. I honestly do believe they're going to revert this or nerf this at some point, but Peaceful Mending now increases the healing of Evelp Mist and Renewing Mist by 25 slash 50%. 50% was 1530. So what that means is this talent right here, uh, Peaceful Mending, so allies targeted by Soothing Mist receive 15 slash 30% more healing from your Evelp Mist and Renewing Mist effects. That's great. They just buffed, they just buffed Renewing Mist and Evelp Mist by 20%. When I'm channeling on them, on top of the cloud, of, I, on top of the cloud of focus buff, which is just it's that's freaking insane. So I, I genuinely think this is gonna get like nerfed or changed, but for right now, I'll I'm not gonna lie, I'll take it. That's really good. Um, spinning cranking damage increased by 15%. Uh, this is more of a PVE change, not much for PVP. Um, Ancient concordance is increased, increase the chance of rising sun can reset by five ten percent. So that I believe is this right here. It's for fist weaving. So your black kick strikes three percent three targets and has a chance to you know reset the cooling rising sun kick. So this is gonna be really good for fist weaving. Uh, on this monk, I have been only fist weaving and it's been a lot of fun. A lot of damage comes from blackout kicks. So you know and rising sun kick. So any any chance any increase of resetting rising sun kick is a really good buff for for. Uh, Fist weaving. And then Lesson of Doubt increases healing and damage by 40% and was 35%. This is uh, one of the Shailun's gift. It's all right, but uh, I, don't, I don't use Shailun's gift that much. So overall, these changes right here are really for... They're mostly geared towards PvP, right? Um, you're mostly fist weaving in PvE. So, I mean, maybe for raids, this is really good. Obviously, for raiding, this is good. And maybe this is good. Uh, but And fist weaving in PvE, this is good. And this. But for PvP, these changes right here are just uh, really, really solid, actually. This right here is really interesting. I think as long as Mistweaver is able to cast, we're going to be able to keep anyone alive. Again, we're going to have the same issues, though, where, you know, CC, we're going to have getting trouble cc We can still die, of course. But, you know, I think the best comps going to be playing are going to be Double Caster. That way, they soak the kicks, right? Your Mage, your Lock, your Ellie Shamans, your Shadow Priests, they eat the kicks. And then you could just free cast and keep people alive. Uh, definitely, we're going to be able to dampen a lot harder with this because we also save mana. Um, and this is obviously just insane healing. So, again, I think as long as we're able to free cast, anyone's going to be able to live. And then there was a very interesting PvP change right down here. Mistweaver, uh, Healing Sphere now triggers the Dispel Backlash from UA and Vampiric Touch. And the healing was increased by 320%. So that means if you use Healing Sphere to Dispel UA... You get silenced and take damage. And if you use it to dispel Vampiric Touch, you get feared. Not a fan of this change at all. Not even a little bit. Healing increased by 320%. Maybe this would be good if it actually did decent healing. But right now it heals for like 5, maybe 10k. So what? That would just increase it to 15,000 healing or what? 30,000 healing? It's just not good. This, this will never be a healing uh, button. And then also... We have so many PvP talents that we need that are mandatory. Chrysalis, mandatory. If we're casting healing, Peace Weaver, mandatory. Zen Focus Seavers Casters, mandatory. If there's a melee, maybe play Zen Focus Seen Eminence. There's no room for Healing Sphere. And the only reason you played it was because you didn't take the, the drawback of it. You're not pr playing Healing Sphere for the heal. Because, like, with all these healing buffs, uh, you don't need, you know, an extra heal. You don't need it. But this, this right here, I don't know. This, I am not a huge fan. So basically, that's just another dead PvP talent now. Maybe if Healing Sphere was a talent, 
you know, and not a PvP talent would be cool. But I think overall, this is uh, this ain't it. They're not a fan of this change at all. But overall, I think we're we're up for sure. I think this is these are so this is a big win for Miss Weavers. A lot of healing output. As long as we're able to like stand still and free cast, we'll be fine. We still do have the same issues, you know, between CC and being interrupted. But overall, I'll take some healing buffs. With that said, I would love to know what everyone else thinks. Uh, that's just a quick rundown of the buffs and, and and honestly, the nerf to healing sphere. I'm not a fan of really like healing sphere. Uh, but that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.